Hi there, good morning, I hope you're well. Um, this is a really exciting opportunity if you're using the block editor to improve your SEO. And what we're talking about here is, an example of it is on the screen. So can you see here, this is um, one of my search results that is currently showing on Google for WordPress courses. And the interesting bit here really is this, can you see how Google somehow magically knows that we're actually running courses on those specific dates but this isn't by accident. This is because we've told Google that we are running courses on those dates in our data. We've structured our data in such a way that we've made it easier for Google to understand that's what's happening. And this is increasingly um, easy to do, if, especially if you're using the block editor. It's a huge reason now to start thinking about um, using the block editor. Let me wind back just to explain the, the, give you a bit of context about how this works. So first let's look at um, a normal page. This is you know, how you would normally create a page in WordPress. Uh, you just put in your content and the genius of Google and other search engines is that it can semantically understand what that content is about by its, you know, its genius. That's what it does. So it, you, know, you just basically write a blob of stuff with, I mean this is unstructured content, that's the other thing to say. It's unstructured content and Google will go through it and it creates meaning out of your content because it looks at the words and understands the words and the semantic re um, relationship between those words and all sorts of other incredibly clever linguistic stuff that Google does, which is great. But it's still a challenge for Google because essentially we're all presenting Google with an unstructured blob of stuff. So wouldn't it be great if we, we could actually start to create structure uh, within your content? And that's exactly um, what the block editor and a number of plugins are starting to let us do. So this is a really, you know, if you can jump onto this now, it's a massive opportunity for you. Um, I'm gonna look at two plugins today. There's a few others that do kind of the same things. Uh, I'm gonna start by looking at Yoast. So if you're using the Yoast SEO plugin, um, it has two or I think two or three blocks, which we'll look at now, which let you basically create structure within your page or post content. That's what we're talking about. So let me just show you what, what comes with Yoast. Um, so you just click on the plus sign. Let's go and see what's in the Yoast plugin. And you may not know these are here, but they are actually here. So can you see Yoast structured data blocks? So yeah, we've got two at the moment, a how to and an FAQ. Now I've tested this on a few pages and Google has actually displayed um, the FAQ one. So it's you, you'll see it on some search results where they expand that on the search results page where they've got um, more little drop downs. So it, it's not guaranteed but it's definitely something that I've seen working. So let me just show you how this works. You just drag it into the page. And then essentially it's incredibly easy. Um, you just put in your question. So I'm gonna say how to boil an egg. If I could spell <laughs> how to boil an egg. And then down here, this is where I put my answer. It's a very long answer to how to boil an egg. So it's very, very simple to set up. But the interesting bit is when we go and look at the HTML because this is essentially what Google is seeing. So to see the HTML in the block editor, you just click on these three dots up here, click on edit as HTML, and here we go. And the really interesting bit is here. Let me make this bigger for you. There, can you see in the HTML, it's actually saying schema equals FAQ. Now what that means is that is a message to Google that this is an FAQ section, which is really cool. So Yoast is doing all this stuff under the bonnet for us. So schema is basically the dictionary that we, um, that all these search engines and computers are adhering to. They're, think of schema a bit like um, like a dictionary uh, or, a, or a language that we're all gonna speak the same language. And it's actually um, defined here as well. So, it's, and this is where the home of schema.org kind of re, um, resides. So schema.org is a collaborative community of community activity with a mission to create, maintain and promote schemas for structured data on the internet, on web pages and in email messages and beyond. So this was set up by a bunch of companies. Um, no one company controls it, everyone's bought into it, but essentially it's a way that um, data can um, reside around the web, but we can, there, there can be common understanding about, you know, the schema, I'm repeating schema, but the, a common understanding of what that data means between systems. That's what's really cool about this. And you'll see back here that Yoast is actually providing us with the FAQ schema. So anyone, any other computer systems or search engines 
can understand the nature of that content, which is really exciting, especially you know if you want to get a leg up over your competition. So the next one I'm going to show you is another plugin which gives you more schema basically. So there is a, the, the, there are a whole bunch of these schema uh, that you can actually go and look at. So things like you know events, businesses, products. Um, you've got like recipe, I think, lots, lots and lots, or books and movies. So basically, a whole lots of these definitions that if you if you um, if your business applies to any of these sectors, you can go and search up whether there's a schema. And then potentially you could start using that schema in your content, which will make it easier for Google to understand what your content is about, should improve your search rankings. That's the idea. So the next plugin I'm going to show you gives you more schema, essentially. That's what this one does. And this, this one here, and I will put a link to this one in the description as well for you. Uh, it's this one here. It's another free plugin called Structured Content, which is a good name for it. Okay, so you just install that as a free plugin from the WordPress directory. And then I've got an example of one that I've built with this one here. This is a course. Okay, so one of the blocks that come with this plugin is a course block, which is fantastic for me because I run courses. So let me just show you how this one works, but it's all blockified again. So it's incredibly simple to use. You just click on the plus sign and then you'll see all the um, the blocks, the schema that these guys have put in. So they've got an FAQ one, a job, event, a course, which is this one here, and a person. And you literally just drag it into the page, like so. And this one will just ask you to provide some information. And this one, this is the one I did earlier. You see you put in things like uh, the course name, the date, uh, whether it's online or offline, the URL for it, um, the availability of it, the cost for it, all that kind of information. But it, again, under the bonnet, that information is all structured nicely for Google to read and understand. Once you've added your schema, then it's always a good idea. Sorry, once you've added your, uh, your, you know, your block, your piece of content, it's always a good idea to go and test whether it's working. Luckily, there is a testing tool that Google give us. So, again, I will put the link to this. Um, in the description below, uh, but you can just Google Google Rich Snippets testing tool and you'll find this. And then essentially what you do here is you come here and put in the web address of the page that you want to test. So I'm just gonna grab the URL for this one and show you this real time. Let's see if this is working. So you just come here, pop in your URL, your web address and click test. And it will trundle off and it will tell you whether your rich snippets have, you know, whether they're working, whether Google Google can read them properly, and it will give you some ideas. Sometimes it will give you some warnings as well, which some, which basically means you might have a few bits of information missing, but you're probably okay. So this is saying, yep, this page is eligible for rich results, and then down here you see there's my actual events uh, rich snippet, and it's given me a couple of warnings. Now, some of these I think are okay for you to leave out if they're not relevant to your thing. As long as you've got the green ticks, you're going to be okay here. But isn't that great? So what a, what a fantastic opportunity. Um, so, if, you know, my advice is go and, go and install a few of these plugins or look at the schema, see if they're appropriate for your business. Give them a test. Um, I've seen some really amazing results on some pages and other pages not so much. So you have to be, you have to be slightly patient with this thing. Uh, but I definitely, definitely, definitely think it's worth um, experimenting with because this is, you know, this is you helping Google to tell it what your content is actually about. So that can only be um, that can only be a good thing in the long run. So there we go. Let me know what you think. Let me know if that worked for you. That'd be great to hear. Um, if you like this video, it'd be fantastic if you could give it um, a thumbs up because it really helps spread the word. And if you want to see more videos like this, then hit the subscribe button because I'm producing lots more videos around uh, the block editor and SEO and e-commerce um, and WordPress um, as we go along. So thank you very much and I shall see you all very soon.